welcome to our show where we keep on making it with a new creative project every month to keep our creative juices flowing. Last month's challenge was winter is coming to make a project that will help us get through this upcoming winter. I'm Lori and I made an upcycled tunic. I'm Natasha and I made a uh, microwavable heating pad. I'm Myla, and I made a collage. Lori, why don't you tell us about your project first? So I had this tunic that I got at a um, Goodwill. I, you know I love Goodwill. And so I've been wanting to finish it forever. Even though I'm not going in January, I still wanted to have a fun thing to wear to something if I go anywhere. So this is the tunic that I made. So oh, I bought wow. It's all embroidered and painted. Um, so I just bought this plain thing and then added all this embellishment to it. So now it's kind of an art piece. Well, you can really transform that. Yeah, and I have actually a whole bin of uh, stuff that I get at Goodwill, like skirts, just plain skirts and jackets and things. And so the plan is to work my way through that bin and, and make them real arty like this but I finally I started this piece probably a year ago wow and it's been hanging in my studio staring at me and I thought all right winter's coming I'm finishing this <laughs> too that's inspirational I think we all will have to finish our projects that we've started this yeah week. from the art graveyard <laughs> <laughs> what, who's going next um, I guess I could go so um, you know, I'm always on the computer. Yes. That is my thing, but I went completely the opposite this time. And I made something that will make me stop using my computer for at least 10 minutes. And that is this microwavable heating pack. Oh, that's amazing. And what I did is I, it's for my neck because my neck always gets me when I'm on my computer too long. So I'm like, I'm going to take a 10 minute break. I'm going to put this over my neck. And I made these little rope things, so I sit like this. Oh, that's oh, that's amazing. And you you put your hands through it, and like you just relax, and it puts a little pressure on your neck, which makes the heat go. And the best part is, I can't use my phone. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are tied up. Hey, <laughs> so I truly have to take a break. <laughs> that's amazing. That's so great. Does it have like a winter embellishment on it? Yeah, I, you know, I made it, it was just black, so it was boring. So what I did is I made flannel uh, poinsettia that yes. I sewed. That's amazing. That's and sweet. everything's 100% cotton, so you can put it in the microwave. So what do you <laughs> put inside? Thing. What do you put inside of it? Like It's a stuff? mixture of barley and rice. Okay. I did some research as to what to use, and that seemed to be the top thing. And you just put it in the microwave with a little bit of like a ramekin of water just to make sure uh -huh. that it doesn't dehydrate. And then it gets nice and hot, and it stays hot for about 10, 15 minutes. So, like, perfect time to just take a little break, and sit down, and not touch your phone. <laughs> Problem. That's nice. It's a great idea, and what I love is that you can pull on it to get, like, yeah. give that extra bit of, you know, stress relief. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it is. It's, like, more comfortable. You know, I, I thought of it, and then I put it on, and I was like, yes. I kind of want this is very nice. You can totally sell these. All right, we'll talk after this. All right, sounds good. Awesome, I love that. Okay, so I made a collage, and I was inspired by you, Lori, because your collages are amazing. Oh. So I collaged um, my owls. I paint an owl every day. This is what I did. Oh my wow. god. That's amazing. Yay. Oh my gosh. So each one is painted individually and then placed yes. together. And, and I collaged them all together and the the negative space between them, I continue to their paint color and then continue to their like their feathers over one another so it looks like all one piece. That's great. And with winter coming, there's no more leaves on the trees and so I'm hoping to catch some owls this winter. That's, That's crazy. Amazing, Lila. I love it. I might do it again. I don't know. I'm hoping, my hope is to get it commissioned. And yeah. um, so that would be exciting for me. 
So yeah, what, what is it about owls that inspired you? They're so unique and their their form and their creation and even the sounds that they make and yeah. That would I just, be great on a puzzle. Oh, yes. Such a good puzzle. I would definitely buy a puzzle of those owls. And yeah, it would be so fun because they they would all be like somewhat similar but just different. So that's perfect puzzle territory. Yeah, exactly. And puzzles are selling like hotcakes these days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. That's such sure. a great project. Thanks for letting me be a part of it. I'm so glad. We we love having guests. Exactly. Which so- speaking of which, Lori, you need a new challenge now that we've shown all of our projects. Okay. So. Take yourself someplace that you don't normally go or a place that you love. It could be a farmer's market or a bookstore or a store that you love or whatever. Seek inspiration, maybe even take some photos there and then create something using that inspiration. So it's kind of like a little field trip challenge. Okay. We could share maybe some of the photos or just inspiration, what, what inspired us to create what we create. Go Seek Share. Okay, we're gonna do our Go Seek Share challenge. If you are watching this and you wanna join us on uh, this show next month, please let us know. Hashtag um, keep on making, on making find it. you or direct message me on Instagram and we'll have you on the show. Uh, that's what Myla did and we love seeing new people on here and seeing what you're making. So let's, you know, let's make this a community. Yeah, keep on making it together. That's right. Yes. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.